Maybe it's due to the hot sun, but soap has been very important to Africans since the dawn of civilization. In fact, we know from cuneiform tablets that black Sumerians were using soap dating back 3000 BC. According to Smithsonian publications, the Roman Catholic Church discouraged bathing because it was looked at as hedonistic. In fact, a lack of hygiene and sanitation was the primary contributor to the spread of the Black Death that took the life of approximately 75 to 200 million people in Europe from 1346 to 1353. No one really knows how long Africans have been using black soap, but it's so pure and cleansing that in the Yoruba culture, it's used to wash babies right after they're born. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about what black soap actually is, how it's able to clean your hair, and how to tell the real from the fake. All soaps are made with two basic components, an alkali base and triglyceride molecules from an oil. When these mix, a chemical reaction called soponification happens where the alkali base hydrolyzes or breaks down the triglyceride molecules. These now free fatty acids combine with some of the carbon and hydrogen atoms in the alkali base to make soap and glycerin. These new soap molecules have a hydrophilic or water-loving head and hydrophobic or oil-loving tail. So when you use it to wash your hair, the tail sticks onto the oil and the dirt in your hair, and the head sticks to the running water to wash everything out. Sounds simple, right? But in today's world, brands throw in a lot of strong toxic chemicals to make soaps more solid and creamy. But we'll talk about that later on in this video. Real black soap is natural and medicinal because rather than using synthetic man-made alkali bases like hydrogen peroxide, iron oxide, silicone oxides, aluminum oxide, calcium oxide, magnesium oxide, manganese oxide, phosphorus oxide, and unburnt carbon, just to name a few, it's made with dried skin of vegetables and fruits that are rich in potassium, like plantains, cocoa pods, cassava, and even bananas. Dried plant materials are nowhere as strong as the alkali-based chemicals typically used in commercial soaps. So real African black soap will never be anywhere as hard as soaps made with synthetic chemicals. So while African black soap is cleansing, it usually also has a higher oil content, which helps to soften your hair as well. For those of you watching in America and in Europe who are familiar with black soap, I'm sure you've seen so many variations. Some are black and hard, while others are multicolor brown or a light tan color. African black soap has become so popular that big brands are starting to mass produce an inferior version of black soap that's made with harsh and toxic chemicals like the ones I mentioned earlier. They're also taking business away from our African aunties who rely on these businesses to feed their families and develop their communities. So that's a no-no. So here's what to look out for. The fake stuff is usually really smooth, very black, and very hard. It's also sometimes doused in synthetic fragrance oils as well. No matter what the label claims, it has no medicinal properties and won't benefit you at all. Real African black soap can sometimes be dark in color due to how it's prepared, ingredients used, and how long the plants were roasted. So the longer the plantain skins and cocoa pods were roasted, the darker the soap, but it's never completely black. Real African black soap is also soft. It's easy to reshape it with your hands, and sometimes even a bit crumbly. It should be easy to cut smoothly with a knife. Real black soap is so soft that if you put it in warm water, it will eventually completely dissolve. Also, just take a look at the appearance of the fake stuff compared to the real. Truly organic products are hardly ever smooth, creamy, and uniformed. 
Instead, they're often inconsistent, lumpy, and at times even rough. Truly organic products also don't always smell wonderful either. We've been so wired to seek out quote unquote pretty looking foods and products, not realizing that we've been missing out on the true benefits nature provides. At least now you know what to look out for when purchasing African black soap. I left a few links to reputable suppliers of African black soap in the description section below. Hey, did you know I'm on Instagram? I post helpful facts on past videos to help you brush up on information you may have forgot and some creative artistic pictures of me. I also post video upload information and giveaways. Follow at Green Beauty channel and say hello. Anywho, as always, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.